Okay, I guess my first video was bad, so I'm sending another video. All right, thank you, Cecily Mudrin, for pointing that out. I just replayed it. My internet must have been bad last night. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to go to your dashboard, go to edit your video. You're going to bring your video up. All right, so what I want to make sure you do is I want to be able to see your entire track. So you're going to go down and check your slider so that your slider is all the way minimized so that the screen is as small as possible. You don't want it to be bigger, okay, like this. You want it to be small so I can see how far you are, all right? Like this is a three-minute mark. I should be able to see that. I don't really care if I see the music so much as if I see this part right here, okay? I want to see your text, your uh, pictures, GIFs, and that kind of thing. This, this is what's important for me to see more than anything. All right. Um, so you're going to go to print screen on your keyboard. Um, it should be along the top or along the side somewhere. Everyone's got different computers, so it'll look different. I did put instructions on the assignment for print screen. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go into our assignment and you're going to click on add your screenshot here and i want you to actually go into the word document i want you to control v once you um click print screen it will copy it for you and then all you have to do is come over here and control v and paste and then it'll put a picture of it on there and that's all you need to do then you're going to click close and then you're going to click that Turn in button. That's a problem for a lot of people. Um, click that turn in button. So you're going to click the turn in button. A ice cream cone is going to fill up. A rocket is going to go across the screen. Something is going to happen. It doesn't look the same on mine as it does on yours, but make sure that you hit that turn in button. Because um, some it will just say that student has viewed it for me or that they haven't turned it in. So make sure you hit the turn in button. I cannot emphasize that enough because we can't put you as attending class unless you hit the turn in button. If you have questions, email me at mostrom at jca-online.org.